Hey friends! So today we're going to learn how to make iced coffee in my infamous iced coffee maker from Starbucks. This is what it looks like and I purchased it at Starbucks for about $30. And today I'm going to teach you guys how to use it. Here's what you guys are going to need. Coffee filters. Coffee of your choice, preferably bold, together with a tablespoon measurement and some hot water. Three cups about, give or take. So you're going to start by um, folding the edges of your coffee filter. I'm using the natural ones from the Market Pantry brand from Target. And you're folding the edges so that it doesn't leak through. You are going to fit this very snugly into the top part of your coffee maker. Make sure it's nice and snug. And then go ahead and start pouring coffee out. Um, I use about 12 tablespoons, so about a dozen tablespoons total. You can do it based on the strength that you'd like, but I found that 12 was just about right. I believe the measurements on the instructions, I think say like 14. It's a lot. Then you're going to go ahead and pour your hot water over the grounds. Make sure you get them nice and wet so that it starts to filter. And do this slowly. I've done it fast and it makes a huge mess. So take your time. The more you take your time, the better it brews. And then you're just gonna let it kind of marinate. It's gonna start dripping down to just the bottom. It goes kind of fast and then it starts to get a little bit slower. So um, I'll show you how to kind of make the process work a little bit faster later. So keep adding your water. You're gonna use about three cups total, give or take. I usually add a little bit extra to kind of keep the grounds flowing a little bit more, um, just to sort of filter it a little further. And I use a spoon to kind of just help move it along because sometimes it gets stuck at the bottom of the filter. So you're going to want to make sure you move it along and then keep adding water, move it along, keep adding water, moving it along. This helps the coffee build depth and it also um, just literally keeps the grounds from sticking on the bottom and that way it filters a lot faster. So you'll start to notice a huge amount going down on the bottom. I keep filtering and filtering um, and brewing it until it gets about an inch off the metal part. Um, if you see right here, then I'm going to go ahead and um, get rid of the coffee filter. Of course, you're going to toss this out. I usually just literally toss it <laughs> then take the top part off. And then you're going to add your ice. I add about, I want to say four cups total, give or take, one and a half cups at least. Um, but I, I use about four cups. And it goes until about this metal line right on the top of that, that metal part right there. I kind of zhuzh the ice around just to kind of get it going so it doesn't make that weird kind of water film at the top. And then that way it kind of evenly distributes the temperature all the way across. And I go to about right here because then that way the lid goes on nice and snug. Top it off and then stick it in your fridge and you're good to go. I like to set it for at least two hours before I use it. So now I'm going to show you guys how to make my favorite blend of my iced coffee. I'm going to use these two syrups from Tarani and I'm going to use two pumps of each. So that's four pumps total. Then when I add in my iced coffee, um, I usually use, I want to say three quarters of a cup to a cup full, depending on how strong I want it for that day. And I give it a little stir before I add in a couple splashes of my Silk Vanilla Soy Milk. I love this brand. It's the best that I've tried besides any other almond milk that I like. Then I'm going to pop in my ice before I pop the lid on and I give it a little stirry stir stir to make sure all the syrup has been distributed and it's mixed well. Pop the lid on and I'm good to go. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you as always for watching. I will see you guys next time.